let's say you have a goal you want to achieve, such as galactic peace and overthrowing an evil empire. Using Kurt Lewin's force field analysis, you can analyze all aspects of this particular goal and therefore come up with better ways of helping you achieve this goal. No. Try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. Once you've selected your goal, the next step is to analyze the driving forces or the forces that will help you achieve it. Following that, the next step is to look at the resisting forces or the forces that will oppose or hinder the change process. You don't know the power of the dark side. Once you've established the various forces that are on both sides of your decision-making process or your change process, you then compare and give some weight to each of these forces. For example, you may have a larger number of forces on one side, but those forces may be small individually, whereas one force on the other side might have a very large impact and need to be looked at as having more magnitude or more weight than the other ones. In order to affect the change that you're then attempting to put into place, it's time to strategize and look at the forces that are there and come up with ways of either increasing the magnitude of forces on one side or decreasing the magnitude of forces on the other side, either by minimizing individual ones or eliminating ones that may have a significant impact on the overall process. Once that happens, some of the other forces may tend to simply fall away, at which point your change occurs. I can't understand how we got by those troops. I thought we were dead. The force can have a strong influence on the weak minded. So by doing a force field analysis, you get a better sense of all of the forces on both sides of the decision making process, both for and against, and it enables you to then selectively choose how to approach making a decision and have more chance at a successful outcome. Remember, the force will be with you always.